This is my ABI Electronics Digital Diagnostic Chip Tester DDS 40 XP. It is rather ancient from 1988, but rather useful for diagnosing faults with old things like this. This is a what is it? 16 kilobyte static RAM S100 board from this computer here which is an industrial microsystems 800 unit um, this has a fault so does the computer over there but I have now diagnosed it to this voltage regulator which is preventing lights well, from this bit it's preventing that board working so I've ordered a new one of them I have been struggling to get this thing to work it used to work, then it sat in my cellar for ages, then I turned it on and it made lots of crackling noises. Turned it off quickly before things got bad. I've had it open, I've totally dismantled it, I've cleaned all of the circuit boards, every single last one, including the power supply. Um, the best I can get it to do is to come up with the BIOS stuff and it says self self test fail keyboard scan. Now that's the best that it does. Most of the time it comes up like that. Lots of junk on the screen. Like that. And through flicking the switch on and off I can get it to come up right eventually. I have been fiddling with the variable resistors on the output side of the power supply unit. They do all vary the, um, the voltages. There's two positive 5 volts, a negative 12 and a positive 12 from various grounds and zeros, zero voltages. Um, I did find, there we go, I did find by Upping the um, one of the positive five volts till I got five volts throughout the whole system as far as the keyboard, it would come on like this a bit more reliably. So I don't know whether it's just I've messed up some settings or whether there is actually something else wrong. There's also some trim pot things that do some obscureness on the motherboard inside. Um, I've been at this for ages trying to fix it. I've had it as the same pieces. I've solvent washed all the motherboard to get all the junk off of them. I've tried soldering dry joints. I have been round and round and round in circles with a multimeter and a an oscilloscope and that's before I was getting this on the screen. Just checking for clock crystals and all that kind of thing. Um I did at one point manage to get a trace on the um, circuit board to fuse bright red. Fortunately, it was quite a big one, and next to the um, there's a relay on one corner. I think it's some sort of self-protection power power thing. Unfortunately, it fused. I managed to fix it with a wire link and some solder, and it works again. At one point, that relay wasn't switching on when you turn it on. I did try replacing a little general-purpose NPN transistor. Tried it with a different one, didn't make any difference. Resoldered the original one back in. Mm, tested a few capacitors, Zener diodes, and it, it worked again. Well, that was after I'd solvent washed it. And then suddenly that relay was working, and then I got possibly some better voltages coming out of the power supply through fiddling with the variable resistors. And then there's three LEDs on the. No four LEDs on the motherboard. There's a red a green one that's always been on and then there was a red one below the relay that was going on and off intermittently. It's now staying off and that and since then this screen's been coming on more regularly. Well, I can't do any more. My knowledge isn't great enough of fault finding electronics and I don't have the schematics. I've got the manuals for this thing, but that doesn't include any schematics for the, the board, unfortunately. 
So if anybody out there knows anything about this device, please help me. I might even be willing to pay somebody to fix it because it is, these things are as rare as hen teeth and I certainly can't afford to buy the modern equivalent which is sort of £800 worth from ABI Electronics because they're still going. Thank you for watching.